The Iberian Peninsula, where the modern countries of Spain and Portugal are located, was a dynamic place in the 13th century. Various Christian kingdoms occupied the north, Muslim-controlled territories occupied the south, and Jewish communities lived throughout. In the predominantly Christian north, the relative political stability of the 13th century brought a flourishing of arts and letters. The first self-consciously learned poetry in the language we now call Spanish was produced in this milieu. These poems, known as the Mester de Clerecia, or Cleric's Craft, were born out of the intellectual activity of a group of clerics connected to the cathedral schools, monasteries, and universities of northern Spain. There are still arguments about the application of the term Mester de Clerecia, but most scholars recognize that one of the first works of this new learned poetry is the Libro de Alexandre, a medieval retelling of the legend of Alexander the Great. Other poems of Mester de Clerecia tell the stories of noble heroes, real and fictional, such as Apollonius of Tyre and Fernán González. The first named poet of the Spanish language, Gonzalo de Berceo, belongs to this group of mostly anonymous clerical poets. While the genres of the works included under the rubric Mester de Clerecia span from romance to hagiography to epic, the early poems of this type share a common learned nature and at least some religious content. The early 13th century works of Mester de Clerecia poetry had widespread influence. They were imitated throughout the 14th and 15th centuries and served as important models for the literature of Jewish and Muslim communities writing Spanish poetry in Hebrew or Arabic characters. Perhaps the most famous work of later Mester de Clerecia poetry is the Libro de Buen Amor. While this lengthy work contains aspects of many genres, the most famous parts tell the story of the amorous exploits of the bumbling archpriest of Ita. As the work of literary critics, historians, and religious scholars give us an increasingly accurate picture of medieval Spain, new insights become possible into Mester de Clerecia poetry. The academic conference, entitled The Cleric's Craft, Crossroads of Medieval Spanish Literature and Modern Critique, is a landmark event in the study of this poetry and the historical and cultural context out of which it arose. Occurring in the fall of 2015, the conference marks the 150th anniversary of the first use of the term Mester de Clerecia. In 1865, the Spanish scholar Manuel Milá y Fontanals used the phrase for the first time to refer to this early learned poetry. 150 years later, and in the beautiful fall weather of the U.S. Southwest, scholars from a variety of disciplines and from across the globe have gathered at the bilingual campus of the University of Texas at El Paso to reassess this literature and its study as well as to chart new directions for the field. The organizers hope that this meeting will give new impetus to collaborative events and projects on this important literature. Stay tuned to the website clerecia at utep.edu for new scholarship, upcoming events, and announcements on the study of the Mister de Clerecia.